Doja Cat lyrics. And the darkness overtakes us. Then there's a warm radiance of light to illuminate the path. Hey guys, it's time for us to get into it, yeah. Doja Cat lyrics. We're gonna be reviewing some Doja Cat lyrics today. So I'm here with the face and the obviously nice skin. Look at that, Jesus. I'm gonna just be going through uh, three songs, not playing them for copyright, obviously. And we're just gonna talk about it. So I'm thinking the first song that we can look at is Wuma. I can be your Wuma. Wuma, Wuma, Wuma. I'm gonna do that one. All right, before we jump into it, this is not gonna be praising Doja Cat. Her lyrics are garbage. I like, I love her songs. They're a great bop. They're great to dance to. But like, her song, her her lyrics are just garbage. Egotistical, self-absorbed, no self-awareness, like despises men. Like, she's like your modern day Western female. She's the epitome of that. And I wonder why she has such a wide appeal. We're gonna talk about why her lyrics are garbage. And um, let's get into it, yeah. Pull out the iPad, get into it, yeah. Time to shut on her, get into it, yeah. If you got a job, you must be poor, because, yeah, modern day, all right. Woman, let me be your woman. All right, so that's the hook, right? It's about being a pick-me girl, I guess. Please choose me, I will let me be your woman. And of course, I mean, she'd only give this proposition to perceivably high value men. Perceivably, it's not, again, Think about hypergamy. It's not just like looks, or like social status, or money. It's it's a it's amalgamation of everything. The biggest part is emotional curation. You have to make somebody feel. You have to make a umma feel very intense emotions. That is the most important part. That's the explanation as to why you see you can see like an ugly dude with a or a conventionally ugly dude with a conventionally attractive women. It's just a umma. I'll stop. <laughs> it's because there's more to it than that. It's just emotions. It's about whether or not you can elicit intensity. And usually the worst people can do that more accessibly, right? If you're a sociopath, you're pretty good at that. So <laughs> that's why you see a lot of women getting to get with some really bad people, which is funny. I find that hilarious. It's like, it's hard to feel bad for you, right? You ever hear the saying, dudes are dehydrated, or at least the sexual marketplace for dudes is if they're dehydrated in a desert and women are dehydrated in a swamp, right? Women are surrounded by water. It's just all tainted garbage water. So they're, it's incumbent upon them to learn how to sift through the garbage water to find something good, right? To build a filter. Versus men, who there's no water in sight, and even the water they come across is tainted. I'm not sure I was relating this to, I guess, just gender dynamics, intersectional, intersexual dynamics or something. Yes, yeah, so, it's more so uh, women tend to have a further degree of optionality. So it's really hard, it's considerably harder to feel bad for them when they choose poorly. Because it's like, dude, just whip out your phone, bleep, bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, hey, I got 20 more dudes lined up to interact with me, even though I'm average looking. It's, it's... All right, let's see what you have to say, Doja, Doja Cat. What you need, she give tenfold, come here, pop a plant your seed. Gross. She can grow it from her womb, a family. So, provide love and overlooked and unappreciated. Oh, absolutely. Women are like totally unappreciated. The way that they're sent to wars, the way that their their lives are, are treated as if they're disposable, the way that they have immense optionality. Like that, that must be really hard. At least in a social context. Dude, everyone has problems, everyone. More or less, depending on who you're asking. And gender just, gender alters the specifics of certain categories of issues that you're faced with. You are not overlooked and you are not unappreciated. As a Western female, no. If you were to actually go to like a legitimately patriarchal society, like the Middle East, right? Where they got low divorce rates, as opposed to a place like Portugal, which has like 90 degree divorce rates. Because it's Western, egalitarian, which usually just means skewed in the fee in the female's favor. 
at least the way that it plays out in life. I believe that humans could totally be egalitarian, but just like with everything else, humans are dumb and they get everything wrong. So it's either you tip the scale in one direction, exaggeratively so, or the other. Just everywhere you go, pick your poison. Anyways, no. As a female, you are not under, overlooked and unappreciated. Maybe in certain tiny social circles, but if we're talking about generally speaking in the social zeitgeist, no. You are praised. You are worshipped. Which is funny enough, you say that later in the song. <laughs> Worship my hips with taste or with the fact that the plip de placed. All right. Provide love and un overlooked and unappreciated. You see? Yeah. You can reciprocate. You mean I can siphon your attention and give nothing back other than me fulfilling my purpose as a female, right? In accordance to how is expected, or at least like, I mean, that's kind of just modern day standards, right? Man has to provide tension, value, ability, a masculine frame, yada, yada, yada. And a female is the table. That's it. That's all she provides. You're totally unappreciated, dude. You are so goddamn oppressed. I'm so sorry, Doji Cat. I got delicious taste. Aren't you dating like a groomer or something? Hold on, I don't want to look that up. Jay Cyrus. What are the allegations against Jay Cyrus? That's the second thing that came up. You got delicious taste, huh, Doja? Let's see what taste you got. Harassing multiple women between 2022. He allegedly mistreated ladies who watched him broadcast. Nearly 20 women have come forward. I got delicious taste. I get in bad relationships. My taste in men is garbage. Even though I have immense optionality. Shut up. <laughs> God, that's what I meant by the lack of self-awareness. You don't know what you're talking about. You're not unappreciated. You're not overlooked. And you don't have good taste. But you're saying it in your songs because I guess whim Just like hearing these things. Because it makes them feel things in their ghiblies. <laughs> You need a woman's touch in your place. And what is, what does that mean? All right. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> like you need a woman in your life? Sure. I mean, if that's really what you want, but I mean, everyone needs some degree of companionship and physical intimacy. Yet most men are touch starved. Even the, sorry, it's, it's the women that are overlooked and unappreciated, even though like a majority of men aren't sleeping around or with people, or, or in relationships, because they just can't get women. But women are underappreciated. Sorry, my bad. Let's see. Just protect her and keep her safe. Yes, be a man. Do stuff for me. I'm a woman. Woma. Woma, woma, woma. And you're a male. A disgusting, appreciated, and, and looked male. And, and overlooked, an underlooked male. But you have to serve your purpose while I just give birth. While you tell me that I'm awesome and make me feel good. Protect yourself. <laughs> Learn jujitsu. Learn MMA. Don't quit relying on other people. Jesus. You need me, but also do this for me. Do this. That's what I meant by egotist. It's like, shut up. Provide more value. Instead of just like being a thing that people could look at and then like having giving birth, which is something it does is that your value? You just create more clones of humans? Is that it? Wow. Life must be, life is just awesome, right? Given that everyone fulfills a purpose and that's that's just what you are. Ma stop. I'm telling Doja Cat to stop, not me doing ma, because it's funny. Baby worship my hips and waist. That's what I was that that's what I meant. No. Go fuck yourself, Doja. <laughs> Look at my body parts. I'm a, I'm a wuma. And aren't I just amazing? I'm also overlooked and unappreciated, but also worship me. Gross. Gross. Because you're a female. I have female body parts, so look up to my female body parts. Okay. Stop talking. <laughs> oh. So feminine with grace. I touch your soul when you hear me say, Boy, let me be your woman. And by boy, she means Jay Cyrus. 
where where 20 women have come forward with harassment allegations. I got delicious taste, boy. <laughs> That's what I meant. <clears throat> I mean, I don't... 20 is a lot. Harassing, and that's within a two-year period. Yet you chose him. And yes, you chose him. You were the, you were the, the not just a female, which by default you have immense degree of optionality. You are a high-value female, which gives you an even further degree of optionality. And this is what you chose. While saying that you have good taste. And you reward the piece of garbage. If we're to believe what 20, probably more at this point, plus women have said about this guy. Dumb. I never feel sympathy for people like that. When it, It's like at the end of the day, regardless of man or woman, you chose the person that you're with. Now, if we were to break things into, into you know, teams, because that's just what everyone does. So I guess I'll, I'll oblige, right? <laughs> like I tend to, I, I don't feel pity for either for the most part, but if I had to shed pity for one over the other, I would shed more pity for men. Because square one is considerably more difficult to get out of if you're a dude especially a low value dude even if you're high value you still need game then it is for a woman a guy can't just bleep bloop 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 mo a ma large majority of them can't just pull up their phone and then have a bunch of people lined up trying to interact with them women can do that most women can so i don't feel pity for either but i feel a little bit more pity for dudes if they're in bad relationships and they choose a partner. And still, at the end of the day, you're responsible and it's like you're partly at fault. It's more so the fault of the other person being a crapper, especially if you're better than them. But you chose that. You stuck around with it. Especially if you go back, you're enabling it. You are culpable. The culpability starts to creep onto you the more that you stick around to that. It's like this analogy. If you go to a restaurant, first time, never seen it before, and you eat some of the food and you're like, it's really good, but you get poisoned. Okay, no way you could have anticipated that in any capacity. That's not your fault. You keep going back to the restaurant after you've known, after, you know, you've been poisoned and you keep getting poisoned, but you just really like the food. That's that culpability starts to creep onto you. So then you, then the more that culpability creeps onto you, the less sympathy starts to uh, become attached. You don't deserve that if you're too stupid to like, moderate the opiate of sexuality all right what's your all right so the second hook now the second verse i can be your lady i'm a woman it's redundant i'm a motherfucker but they got some prop but they got a problem what i'm a motherfucker but they got a problem who is that more of your self-victimization about being overlooked and unappreciated. Because <laughs> women are totally that. Especially in the modern western society. Where women can just dance and then get millions of views on TikTok. Because that, that means you're overlooked and unappreciated. Jesus. The ego. Gross. Put some babies in your life and take away the drama. Yeah, because that's how that works. Have children. Your life gets easier. <laughs> what does doja mean? Don't you? Don't you wish your cat? Don't you, Woja Goja, want some babies in your life? No. Birth control. Contraceptive. Absolutely not. What kind of logic is that? Add more responsibility. And that'll make things easier. She's one of the most popular, like, like pop artists you know, right, these days. Like, goddamn. Holy crap. Put that paper in a picture like a diorama. Don't know what that means. Gotta face a lot of people that are opposite. That's everyone. None, what does any of these things mean? What are you trying to say? Because the world told me we ain't got that common sense. It's not the... It's it's. If these are your lyrics, and I'm telling you this now, I'm saying you don't have common sense. I'm also saying that you're egotistical you have no, you have no self-awareness, you're entitled, you're, you're displaying that yourself. If you are saying that you have delicious taste and you get with Jay Cyrus, who's had 20 plus allegations of harassment towards women, yeah, you don't got common sense, you dumb bitch. What the fuck's wrong with you? You don't even, you have, there's a lot more things that you don't have that, than just common sense. What the fuck? 
got to prove it to myself that I'm on top of shit. Why? Because you, you make music and you make lots of money for it? I mean, sure, in context of society and what we find important, yeah. Sure, you're on top of it. Because that's the only thing these that humans care about. It's money and stature. <clears throat> as honest as, as fucking honest get. Not with yourself. If these are the things you're telling yourself, you're lying to yourself like every day. You're in deep denial. And I could be on everything. I mean, I could be the leader, head of all the states. I could smile, jiggle it till his pocket's empty. I could be the CEO, just like look at Robin Fenty. Yeah, overlooked and unappreciated, yet you're able to do all those things. Sure. Denial. And I don't disagree. Now, granted, some of the wealthiest women in the world are the wealthiest because of divorce. The most richest women in the entire world. The woman who's the grandchild of the guy who founded L'Oreal. Okay, nepotism and divorce. Yeah, you, yeah, it's the modern day. You gotta. It's mainly inheritance. You married well, you inherited, or you got divorced. Her father, brother founded the company. Her grandfather found the company. <sighs> yeah, you can. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You can have it all. Especially if you can just inherit the, the aftermath of a, of a man's goddamn effort. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Overlooked and unappreciated. Shut up. And I'm going to be there for you because you own my team, girl. Don't ever think you, you ain't hella these niggas dream, girl. Yeah, overlooked and unappreciated. They want to pit us against her when we succeeding for no reasons. I feel like you guys do that to yourselves. Isn't it always women that's talking shit about women, right? Gossiping and saying, oh, she's a bitch. Being nice to her face and then she turns around and it's like, oh, she's such a fat bitch. Sure. All right. You want to see us like we end up like we were Gina on Mean Girls. Wasn't Mean Girls about like the lead in that movie was a female who was she was trying to fit in, right? Where's the man pitting them against each other? You're just making shit up. <laughs> God, I mean, that's the thing about life. You can just do whatever you want. So Doja Cat is the result of that. Princess or queen, tomboy or keen. You've heard a lot. You've never seen. Nah. Mother Earth, Mother Mary, rise to the top. Divine feminine, I'm feminine. Nah. Overlooked and underappreciated. Worship by hips. Divine feminina. Yes. I got delicious taste. Div dating some guy who harassed multiple women with 20 plus multiple allegations. <laughs> don't you can't shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, <don't know. laughs> you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. You're just saying words and wanting it to mean stuff. So shut your mouth. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> 